Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to model multiplying whole numbers by fractions. So we have two examples that we're going to go through together in order to get this down. And again, this video is going to be whole numbers by fractions. I have another video in which we do models of fractions by fractions. I'll drop that link down in the description. So let's jump into number one here where we have four times two thirds. So four groups of two thirds. And as you can notice below the problem here, we have four rectangles and they're each cut into thirds. So let's create four groups of two thirds. So here, if I fill in one there, I have one third. If I fill in two, I have two thirds. So that's one group of two thirds. So that would represent one times two thirds. So let's do another one. There's one third and two thirds. So that would represent two groups of two thirds, which would be two times two thirds, but we want four. So let's do two more. One third, two thirds. So there's one more two thirds. And let's do the last one here. One third, two thirds. So we have four groups of two thirds there. Now let's see how many total thirds are filled in. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight thirds filled in. So that's going to be our numerator, eight. And our denominator, everything's cut into thirds, so that's going to be our denominator, three. That's our answer, 8 thirds, but it's an improper fraction. So let's convert it to a mixed number here. So we do that by dividing 8 by 3. How many whole groups of 3 can we pull out of 8? Well, 2. That gets us to 6, right? So we have a remainder. So if we pull 2 whole groups of 3 out of 8, we have 2 left over, keep our denominator the same, and we get 2 and 2 thirds. Now, another way of thinking of this, or seeing that we have two and two thirds, we could take the uh, groups of one thirds and kind of fill them in to make holes. So that would make one hole there if we fill that in. That would give us two openings, this one and right there since we moved it. Let's move this to an opening and this to an opening and that would give us two holes filled in, right, if we shifted some things around, and then we're left with two thirds here. So two and two thirds. So our model matches that mixed number as well. It just takes a little bit of shifting around in order to make it work. So you can either go straight to that improper fraction and convert it to a mixed number, or shift things around and figure out what your mixed number is going to be. Either way, that model is going to give you the same and correct answer. So let's do number two, where we have three times three fifths. So we need three groups of three fifths. And I already have our holes here cut into fifths. So one fifth, two fifths, three fifths. So that's one group of three fifths, one fifth, two-fifths, three-fifths. So we need one more group. One-fifth, two-fifths, three-fifths. So there, we have three groups, or three times, three-fifths. Let's see what our improper fraction is going to be. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine-fifths. So nine, fifths. Now let's convert that to a mixed number. So how many groups of five, whole groups of five, can we pull out of nine? Well, one. And that gives us a remainder of four. Keep our denominator of five the same. So our answer is one and four fifths. Now I'm also going to show you how to shift the pieces down in our model to equal one and four fifths. Let's take these two fifths here and shift them up here. So we have one fifth left in that middle um, rectangle 
and we're going to take that one fifth that is left and move it to the bottom rectangle. That way we get rid of everything in that middle rectangle. We took the two fifths and moved them up to the top rectangle to make one hole, and we took that remaining fifth and moved it to the bottom rectangle in order to give us four fifths. So after we shifted everything around, that model still matches one and four fifths. So there you have it. There's how you model multiplying whole numbers by fractions. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.